Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we are at Telecom TV's very own DSP Leaders Forum 2019. And I'm talking with Alex Quash, who is the VP and GM, Wireline and Core Network Division, Network Platforms Group at Intel. Alex, welcome. Let's begin with this. How do you see the 5G core network opportunity shaping up right now? The 5G networks are getting rolled out as we speak. Uh, they started getting rolled out last year and this year, and they'll continue uh, throughout all the regions over the next several years. Um, these first phase of network rollouts were used uh, what we call a non-standalone implementation, uh, which is using new radio access networks, so new uh, wireless connectivity to 5G handsets, but they connect it to an, uh, a 4G core network. And so to your question, what does the opportunity look like for 5G core networks? The 5G core networks will actually come in starting next year in the 2020 timeframe, and they will, they will just get rolled out over the next several years to complement the 5G radio access network that's getting, that has been rolled out as of today and will, and will get, continue to get uh, rolled out. Um, this uh, 5G core network is a very different architecture than the 4G network in that uh, it, are, it is a services-based architecture. And what it allows uh, service providers to do is uh, not only to do very easily do network slicing uh, as, a, as a service to deliver on the 5G promise, uh, which means that you can offer different network services uh, with the same network uh, as opposed to having different networks to offer different services under, with the same network to offer different slices, whether it's a, um, a handset or a mobile service um, or an IoT service, Internet of Things uh, to monitor factory robotics or to, to monitor um, you know, stuff on the manufacturing floor. Um, or a fixed wireless access network, which is bring broadband to your home on the, on the same underlying network. Um, and what, what the service providers can do is roll out different types of services um, and make use of uh, different resources in the network itself um, that they can easily tap into compute resources, networking resources, storage resources, artificial uh, intelligence resources, where the services need these resources. And so it, it is a very flexible implementation of um, not just improving your network operations, but also offering the types of services that 5G is going to bring um, when they transition to this, uh, to this core network. Alex Quash, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.